In the last several months, I've received a ton of questions about our front hitch rack. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you the full setup and explain how we use it. Let's get started. It's not the prettiest setup, but it's served us well for the last year or so. We don't use it for much. However, our main usage is basically to run the generator on. It keeps it off the ground and it keeps it nice and clean away from mud and dirt. And whenever we find a good deal on firewood, we'll stack it on the front. One of the other potential uses was to haul our bikes on the front of the truck. After taking some measurements and trying it out, it blocks way too much of my vision and the headlights. So for now, the bikes are gonna stay on the back and the cargo rack is gonna stay on the front. Whenever I'm doing a project, I tend to use the front rack as a workbench. It's a great place to keep my tools up off the ground and I use it as a platform for doing all of my drilling and cutting. After we got our really cool Crazy Creek seats, I realized that I could use the front rack as a place to sit. It's almost like a little front hammock. I always leave the rack locked using this locking hitch pin. As for the rack itself, it's nothing special. I got it off of Facebook Marketplace for about 25 bucks. It needed a little bit of work. Like these pins I had to replace. Tighten up the bolts. But it's held up really well. It's definitely a low quality rack, but it serves our purposes. The only thing I really did is I added these reflective strips and this is electrical conduit that I use as little markers. And it's funny because while we're driving down the road, it looks like we have little like ant antennae sticking out. I'm definitely on the hunt for a folding rack because we don't use it very often. And while it's not in use, I'd love to be able to fold it up out of the way. Now I'm gonna take the rack off and talk about the hitch itself. I'm not gonna go over the installation process, but I will share some of the problems that I ran into during the install. So this is a draw tight hitch and I chose this particular brand and model because of the way it fits into the bumper itself. The fact that they reuse the existing bolt holes for the front tow hooks makes the installation much easier. However, the bolts that they supply rusted up really fast. Overall, the installation is super clean and precise. It has a 500 pound cargo capacity and a 9,000 pound pull capacity, which is plenty for what we're doing with it. I started the installation off by taping around the bumper and adding some foam to protect it from any scratches. The next step was to remove the tow hooks. That was pretty simple, except there are some clearance issues in the back that you have to be aware of. I just used regular wrenches and I was able to get them off. Next, I sorted out all of the fasteners and put the hitch into place. And then I placed the tow hooks back in place and started to bolt them together. This is where I started to run into some trouble. I struggled with it for quite a while. I was determined to get it done by myself. But I just couldn't quite get my fingers in the right place to hold the nuts to start it. I eventually got them started, but then I ran into a new problem. Trying to hold wrenches on both sides and apply any kind of force seemed to be nearly impossible. So these bolts aren't too hard to get to. But on this side, these are quite difficult to reach. It's the same story, this side's easy. This side 
is hard. It's just difficult to get your arm up there with any tools. On top of having to hold the nuts on the inside here, you also have to tighten the bolts on the outside using a torque wrench. That is when I decided to ask Sasha to help me. I showed Sasha what I needed her to do, and she helped me finish the project. If you're planning on installing this hitch on a similar truck, my suggestion would be to have a second person to help you finish it. It'll save you a few bloody knuckles and a lot of aggravation. We don't really use it much, but we love having it for the flexibility that it provides. In the future, I can see myself getting a winch to mount up here. But for now, I'm happy to use our front rack to haul cargo and to use it as a workbench. It's probably not the most critical upgrade I've ever done on the truck, but I'm really happy that I did. So I think that's all I have for you today. If you guys have any questions, please leave them down in the comments and I'll be sure to respond. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I'm gonna fire up the generator and continue charging my batteries. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.